Hello everyone. How are we? We doing good? <sighs> wow. This Easter weekend has just completely fried my brain. <laughs> I am discombobulated to say the least. Um, so yeah. Um, what am I reading? Um, I am listening to the Atlas Paradox. And I also really need to read A Study in Drowning for my book club uh, because the live is Saturday and I haven't picked it up yet at all. Um, but I also still need to kind of figure out my TBR for the Aurelium Readathon and Old School April because life kind of got in the way and I haven't had a chance to like sit down and figure it out yet so as always last minute flying by the seat of my pants but I think I'm gonna start out with a little bit of gaming so <clears throat> just to uh ease myself back into things so I am going to switch this up uh um i think i'll play some spirit bearer oh god soft work update fine why is it always the way when you want to sit down and play a game there's an update <laughs> what Updated my entire freaking switch. Fine. Fine. Typical. Um. Hello. Thank you. Ooh, blockbuster sale. What's happening in here? Got it, got it, got it. Still need to play the demo. Not bothered. Got it. Got it. Uh, no. Got it. Got it. Oh well. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's try again. Thunder Lotus. Why are you taking forever? If this keeps going up, we're gonna have to uh, go into sprints. <laughs> there we go, finally. <sighs> My three percent complete. Uh, single player, and I will start a timer for forty-five minutes, so we're not going crazy on this. We're not timer started. I can't remember what we were doing. Uh, oh yeah, I've got an extra passenger. Resources are trying to help you shoot down the bridge of blue pit trouble. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. I can't do that yet. Maple planks, linen thread, and a little fallout in the box. Okay. Get in there. I hate that. 
this control. Go in. Sheesh. Playing spirit, spirit bearer. Hi, Audrey. Ah, uh, hi, Colette. How is everyone doing? Like I said, I've got set a timer for 45 minutes, so we're just chilling, playing a little game before we head into sprints. What is everyone else reading? What are you up to? What are you doing? Make a water log and coffee. It's fine. It's cool. issues uh, in the Sapphire years. Ugh. Technology is amazing when it works and when it doesn't it's like it's like it's a personal vendetta. Um, most of it's done just need to readjust a couple of things so she can file my taxes. Eesh. I'm glad in the UK that we don't have to do taxes. It's all together. Unless you work for yourself and then you want to do your own taxes. Where do I get maple planks from? Um, go to Albert's shipyard. I know that I want to build the. Um, Field. Is it the field that I need? No, the garden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You don't file for taxes, who files with the government? Wow. Yes, taxes get done through the government. It's all, all together, all inclusive. <laughs> Let's plant some carrot seeds. separately though so David True to look around the city.
do have taxes taken through our paycheck, but we still need to file them nonetheless. Uh, there's so many things that you can put on your taxes and have returns if you pay too much or whatever. Yeah, we just don't do that. We just, uh, like, uh, that uh, is included. Oh. Moving around someone's house. Mm. How late is that bed? Sleeper. Oh, okay. Cool. Free stuff. This is Spirit Bearer. <laughs> Got a 45 minute timer going on. Why is there not in. Oh, there, so there are internal stairs. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna fix that ladder thing. to get the key. does like to send your letters saying um you've underpaid this it's very rare that you overpay <laughs> very rare um in the uh in the um government's eyes even though you do tend to overpay occasionally really lightning in the bottle is only like 60 To make money, <laughs> need to make the monies to uh, get the key. Well, I can do right now is cook.
Hello, princess. Did you do sprints yesterday? Um, I was all over the place yesterday. I ended up passing out. Uh, Chris brought me dinner at seven o'clock, and I was like, "Crap, I'm doing Amy's live at half past." And I was like, "Um, yeah. So yeah, that was fun. So much fun." Uh, maple planks. How do I make planks? Oh, you know what? I need to go to the bathroom. So I will leave you with the, the dulcet tones of the game. <laughs> you didn't? Okay. Good, then I didn't miss it. Whew. Uh, well, I just nip to the bathroom. Doing well, good, 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 good. I am failing <laughs> at life. build one of these, okay. 
Nothing else I can build. until morning and hope that I haven't burnt down the ship because, you know, I'm cooking fish. <sighs> Remember to hydrate and medicate if you need to. Love return to Catan. Okay. I'm completely confused by this, but my brain's not working today, so I fully apologise. Oh, great. Iconic look, okay, I'll leave it in a second. <laughs> with Nicole.
Woohoo! Squid! Okay, can I? Nope. Here we go. One book I've never read. of linen eventually. Check all my carrots. If you can hear him, you can probably hear him. We thought we'd managed to uh, skip the the curse of the, the the clocks going forward and the time difference. Uh, we thought we'd managed it, um, like so. Wyatt's sleep wasn't all screwed up. Mine was. Uh, Wyatt's wasn't. Um, He slept through until like 10 past 7 uh, Easter Sunday and I was like yeah nice um, but I was awake all night um, and like I said we thought we'd, we'd skipped it so I'd not screwed up his sleep or anything but no he was awake at 10 to 4 this morning Ooh. And when Wyatt's awake, he's awake. Now I don't know if that's an autism thing or if that's just the way that my child's wired. Uh, maple planks. So by crafting. Sawmill. Okay, so how do I get a sawmill? I need to get linen thread. 
<laughs> Good to have got linen, so I need a loom. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I've got to get a loom and the saw uh, to get the saw mill. Oh, shiny diving spots. Yeah. Hey, Christina. Hey, beautiful people, popping in on the hug on the leg bun. You're so cute. Uh, yeah, if you want to, also, people, um, I think, let me see. Um, I think Tina is still live. I don't know, uh, Nicole's finished. That's my code of dropped in. Um, but um, G from the book roast is also doing sprints. For the magical readathon. So if you wanna drop by, show some love, and all that jazz. <coughs> so I think I've gotta upgrade my crafting table. And I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, uh, get a bigger boat, I could do that. And okay, I can do that, so I need to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay, cool. To Albert's. Just here. That just looks sus. In my opinion. the new spirit bearer. Mm -hmm. oh. Francis! Uh, you can say I'm a sort of a wandering merchant. I'm very fond of things. This, this, uh, well, Francis has given me, you know, the, uh, I wouldn't say witch, but the kind of, you know, in the labyrinth at the end, where the, the thing has all the things on the back and it's just like you know has all the stuff Francis is giving me that kind of vibe oh. <laughs> 
I would buy anything. <laughs> I don't want oh. any more. <laughs> okay. Can't see what you've got for sale first. Oh, errands. That's new. Let's see. Oh, shoes. Mm. 500 for a, for a random seed bag? Do I risk it? Do I risk 500 for the odd seeds? Let me know. So, should I buy the seed packet for 500? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Help me. <clears throat> that markup's insane. I just sold you that. Rude. You know what? I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. Hi, Kelly. How are you, my love? Now I can build a sawmill, balloon, and foundry. Okay. I'm bouncing around. I'll move a boat bigger. So. Okay. Alright. You went back to two? What? You went back to two? Confused. Oh crap. I'm cooking. Real veggies. Okay. So I've got two. Oh no, <laughs> this is not fair. Where the hell am I going to get quartz from? And I can't do that. Okay, so I need oak and coal. And quartz. Babe, I need a cheat sheet for this game. Seriously. What am I supposed to get freaking quartz from? Google. Uh, oh, you 
I don't know that I charge my phone. My laptop, I don't know why I'm saying. Yeah, I like it left. <laughs> oh, Kenny. Yeah, I'm a Kenny Chuckle. For the time? Uh, I think it's just because uh, we've gone forward an hour. Because we, we, we had our daylight savings Sunday morning. So we've gone forward an hour. So that's why. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so let me just pause this game while I figure out how to get quartz. Cause what? <laughs> um, Sawmill. Alright, okay. No. Right, okay. Okay, I need to find a slug. So I need quartz. Quartz, that's all I need. Right. <clears throat> So right now, all I need is quartz, and where the feck do I find that? I'm sturdy and shiny, can be broken into silica powder and fishes. Quartz dragons? What the frick? Quartz is mine for the quartz dragon from one of the turtle sisters. What? Where the quartz dragon is located? For the Fugawa region. This game is beautiful, it's stunning. But unless you have someone like, you know, holding your hand and walking you through it, no clue. Is that the Fugawa region? No. Crates. Crackers, crate cheese. Hummingbird. Um. Ooh. What are you? My wandering merchant. Cool, cool. Uh, Alt Harbor. Is that where we started? Now class already started. Um crap a doodle. Uh. I don't know what to do. Oh god, what? Oh, it's actually in the room. It is. Oh 
got a wall to my lemons. <laughs> For euphemism, a pee in your pants. Got a wall on my lemons. Get in there. So if anyone's ever played this game and wants to give me tips, like how to get quartz and stuff, please let me know. <laughs> Cause I am um... Ooh. get back to the boat mm. I'll quit um well happy April Fool's Day <laughs> yeah Literally, I will start a sprint when I head back to the boat. <laughs> How long are you guys wanting to sprint for when I eventually get done on this part of the game? Oh, 
so I'm gonna have to do some research on this game before I actually start playing it again. <sighs> Okay. Nope. Save and quit. Okay. So, time for a sprint. No one's shouted up what they're wanting to sprint, so... I... I'm going to say 45 because I'm a 45 minute girly unless anyone else has objections and I will probably be still listening to the Atlas Paradox while I try and sort out TBRs for readathons that are happening this month. <laughs> Okay, so 45 minutes timer starting now and I guess I'll see you guys on the other side. Have fun.
and we're back. Hello, hello, hello. I got like zero reading done. <laughs> I played the audiobook for like two minutes. Um, and then I had to uh, film a clip for the colour generator and the random number generator. Hello Amelia. I don't think I'll be reading but I'm updating my bu book journal. That's all good. I was trying to sort out my uh, magical read from the Rillium TBR. Um, and yeah, when I did my random number generator I got um, 42. Um, and I don't think... Uh, because it's a random number generator, uh, the title length, like of letters, and I don't think asthma, you made it, yay. Um, I don't think that um, there's gonna be a title that's like got forty two letters in it. I did have a look, and it was just like mm, no. So I think I might have to uh, redo that and put a cap on it instead of like want a random number generator instead of want a 100 kind of cap it to like, I don't know, 25 do you think? Maybe? Uh, oh my god, I've been wanting to buy that cardigan for so long. He looks so comfy. I was bloody freezing. And uh, I told Bram to go get me the cardigan. I do love it. It's cosy. And the clouds are really fluffy. I don't know if you can see. Look at the eyes are so fluffy. But yeah. <laughs> it is a very cosy cardigan. <laughs> Ooh. So yeah. Uh, and because I was cold I had to go make myself a cup of tea. I mean... I'm British, so a day that ends in Y means I have to make a cup of tea. But, you know, it's nothing better when you're cold to, than having a nice wine brew. <laughs> so, sorry, I've just got a message from Laura. Because there's going to be some, some news coming up later on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, with that, uh, I'm having a chai with chocolate-covered pretzels. Nice. So you need to tell me how you make your chai. Uh, what you guys do? <laughs> this was exciting! Um... Uh, we played a little bit of Spirit Fire, um, and then we went into a sprint. I'm trying to start out my Magical Ruthon Aurelium TBR, and uh, have a look at the old school April prompts and see what I can fit in where. Um, but yeah, I was yeah. One of the prompts is uh, for the Magical Ruthon is to uh, random number gen do a random number generator and however many numbers that is is like the if I use that many numbers in the as letters in the title wow so good at explaining things I'm so articulate um <laughs> hello Beatrice how are you um also, while we were on Sprint, um, Vanessa from Read with, Read with Dr. B is also sprinting now. So if you want to jump on over and say howdy, feel free. Not that I can keep you from doing it. I mean, their content's way better than mine anyway, but you know. I like your stay, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, 
G from the book roast is also still sprinting and I think Tina no Tina's finished um, but G from the book roast is still going and Vanessa is still sprinting right now so yeah Vanessa is fire love Vanessa she's so she's so sweet to be fair everyone is so I, I, I love like yeah I love booktube Ugh. Um, so yeah when I did my random number generator I got 42 and uh, a title that is 42 letters long is uh, yeah well, my, ta uh, my, my TBR is, uh, I've got eight prompts and I have two <laughs> so far. <laughs> I have two books so far. Um, a yellow title, I've got Not So Lucky from uh, Trelina uh, Pucky. Uh, that's a spicy romance one that I've got on my Kindle so I was like yep yeah, let's go it's been sat there for ages and uh, the colour wheel pick was uh, uh, pink and I'm taking part in the uh, Chestnut Springs readathon and the first one is uh, flawless so it's perfect synchronicity right there um, yeah, so they're the only two books I've got. Um, uh, the other one that I'm kind of that I'm looking at is uh, Zodiac recommendations. So I looked at a couple of lists, and um, so what books were recommended were recommended for Scorpios. Um, and I've got three. I've got uh, The Woman in the Library, uh, uh, Siren Queen and Vampires of El Norte to choose from. Like those were the, were the I looked at like three lists. Um, and there was two on one list and one on the other one. Uh, and the third one was just pants. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, so those are the three that stood out to me. So I've got picking one out of those three. Uh, uh, but yeah, I think I need to go back to the random number generator and shorten it to like, I mean, what's the average title length letter wise? Uh, the woman in the library gives me Victorian ghost vibes based on the title alone. The cover looks amazing. Um, do, 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 do. Where are you? Oh yeah, there was also a Maeve fly, but I'm like, mm, I'm not, I'm not feeling that. To be fair, so yeah, the cover looks pretty baller too. Uh, I'm ignoring my TBR this month. I'm full on prompt jar picking. Cool. Well, that's that's cool. That's that's. See, I <laughs> I spent forever writing out uh stuff <laughs> and like making the little like stars, you know, like the little paper stars. So I got the strips of paper, I wrote out all the things, and made little stars. And then Wyatt came in and crushed them all. So an entire day's work and he just smushed and shredded all my TBR stars so I still want to do that but I feel like I need to get a jar with a lid on it 
Kenny, 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 Kenny. You need a book title that's 42 letters at block. Yeah. I think I'm going to redo it. I think I'm going to re-number generator that. Uh, I'm wondering if I should spoil Three Body Problem, uh, my review. If you feel like you can't get your point across without spoiling it, do it. Um, but if you feel like you can say everything you need to say without spoiling it, uh, or spoiling it, Or you could like, you know, do it in two sections. Do a spoiler and non-spoiler section. I don't know, maybe. Uh, you can do it, Kenny. I might never read the series. Uh, I'd defo watch it. Wyatt, no! Yes. <laughs> no, don't redo it. I'll find you a manga <laughs> with, a t with a long title. Okay, do it. Bet. Have at it, asthma. Do it. Oh, that's true. Thanks. Ugh. Ooh. Right. Tea. I think you can still see the remnants. No. Where have I got that way? So, on that shelf. So, there's my uh, tea light holder. But you can see see that little glass thing there with the remnants of the blue in the bottom where I'm pointing right above my finger. That's that's how many stars are left. <laughs> uh, uh, do you have any triggers, Paula, other than wire ripping up paper in your sleep? Um, no. I mean, dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> uh, I just make sure to uh, warn people it's a spoiler, so then it's up to others to read slash watch or not. True, very true. Um, <laughs> it's not even a quarter full. Facts. Um, I don't, I have things that gross me out and I'm scared of clowns, but uh, mostly, I mean, if I read about clowns, I'm fine. If I see clowns on the TV, the instant, the first instant, instance of it kind of makes me go, Ugh. Um, but no, it's normally seeing a clown in real life that freaks me the fuck out because they're in my space. <laughs> Um, and I don't like bugs they give me the wigs um, but yeah I could still read about it it just gives me the ick so yeah don't really have triggers but thank you for asking though um, it's something I always forget um, to ask when uh, people ask me for recommendations. I always forget to ask. I'm just like, just read this book. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. What are we wanting to do, gang? Are we wanting to do a jump into another sprint? Are we wanting to play a game? Are we want to play some trivia? What are we going to do? I still have to pick <laughs> pick books. I mean, um, dun 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 dun. Um, so I've got to pick a one of the prompts is uh, a word, uh, a book with the word game or play in the title. Uh, sprint forty five minutes. Coming off of a, coming off of a straight, coming off of a forty-five minute sprint. I mean, I'm down. And then I've got to find a V. Schwab book that I've not read. 
I suppose I could reread. Uh, what's the dinner like? Well, I've already had my dinner. We had uh, beef and bean pie. And it was tasty. That's... Uh, mm. There's the Fragile Threads of Power, which I haven't read yet. But I feel like I need to read that uh, uh, beef pie and black bean curry. <laughs> Was that yours? <laughs> uh, no, um, we had beef and bean pie. Uh, basically, it's um like a cottage pie but when we were younger my dad I'm so sorry I thought you were asking me it's all good <laughs> it's all good um it, exactly asthma asking everyone um so yeah uh my dad put baked beans in the cottage pie and we called it shepherd's pie even though it's with, made with, he made it with beef instead of lamb because lamb shepherd's pie and then when i got with chris chris was like so adamant that calling it shepherd's pie was so wrong i was like fine we'll rename it beef and bean pie jesus um but it's good it's tasty uh i had samosas a spicy chutney and a chicken skewer see sounds delicious but i don't like samosas I, I just i i just don't think i've had a decent samosa um they've always been really greasy from like from the takeaways where i've had so where i've had a couple and i'm just like no you don't like what i mean <laughs> the way I audibly gasped. <laughs> Love samosas. Mm -hmm. See, I think that's what I mean. I just don't think I've had a really... I don't don't think I've had a good one. <laughs> My mum looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> what? Di mm. Okay. The next time we have a Indian, I will try a samosa. Because, I like, like I said, I've not tried them in, like, ten years. So, I will bring you some nice samosas on Saturday if I manage to find a ride. Please find a ride, Asma. Please. Find a ride. <laughs> I mean, Kenny might be a little bit butthurt that we're kind of having, like, a covert meet-up. But, yeah. <laughs> We're not singling you out, Kenny. I mean, if you want to come to the Travelling Man um, warehouse sale that's happening in Leeds. They're selling cheap board games and manga and comic books on Saturday. Um... It's fine. <laughs> Renee gave me a list of mangas <laughs> to buy for her too. Okay. Okay. Sheesh. The Discord is popping off. <laughs> I've got a car. I'm on my way. <laughs> uh, yes, Laura is from England. Another Brit in the chat. <laughs> uh, 
dun, 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 dun. but I think Laura's from mm. you're not down south you you kind of mid south I think yes Coventry okay so <laughs> Ooh, rich people area <laughs> I think there's rich people areas everywhere. I was gonna hitch a ride, but never mind. Oh, it's, Colette is also from England. What am I talking about? See, everybody's from England. If it, so, yeah. If anyone wants to come to Leeds on Saturday <laughs> for the travelling man, travelling man. Uh, Lancashire lass, lovely. Um, so yeah, look at this, making friends. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh, nice. So Colette, do you want to give us my ride? <laughs> <laughs> I found my people, bless you. <laughs> You're not alone. See, bringing people together. Love it. I'm on the other side. I'm in the Welsh marshes. So, it's so low, so low. Uh, from uh, Bamba Bridge. <laughs> okay. Hi, Courtney. How you doing, my love? Ugh. Oh, got re we've got return of the gas. Excuse me. 30 minute bus ride from me. Courtney! <laughs> Uh, this has been a long ass day. Has it just been dragging for you, Courtney, or is everyone and the mother just gotten all up in your best snatch and just, you know, t started tap dancing on your last nerve? Because, you know, I've had days like that. <laughs> Real life bug friends. This is a dream. <laughs> is this a dream? No, it's real. <laughs> preach, Courtney, preach. Ugh. Ah. Uh, there are 625 purple in the magical readers on sprints. How in the world? People, not purple. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> I'm not from coverage. I just live here. Although, not rich. <laughs> it's okay. You're in good company. <laughs> I'm a broke ass bitch. Uh, that is a big number. But to be fair, the magical readathon is huge. I'm broke person number two here. Whoop, whoop. I feel like Bunny has just dumped me. Nah, Kenny. Nah. I'm chilling with y'all. Hold up. <laughs> dumped. You're not dumped. Asthma still loves you. Please, wifey. I could never. <laughs> You're just too far, sweetheart. See? I think I feel like Asma would drop us all if, like, you know, someone close with money and was just like, "I'll buy you all the books in the world." I think we'd all get dropped then <laughs> if someone like that rocked up, and knocked on Asma's door. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Facts. And Broke too, which is where I picked up 30 bucks from the library. Hey, you gotta support the library. Shh, Paula, don't call me out like that. Well, I'm just keeping it real, Asma. You know? I mean, I know you love us, really. I know you love us, really. But to be fair, I think we'd all turn around. If someone, like, you know, rocked up and was just like, I'll, I'll build you your own personal library and stock it constantly with whatever book or bookish related item you want. I think we jump on it like a tramp on chips. Uh, I, ain't see, I can't say she's a gold digger, but she, she ain't messing with no broke reader. Nice. <laughs> I would go shell too if a rich person <laughs> would sponsor me. True. True, true. True. <laughs> We're not fickle. We just know what we want. That's harsh, Connie. Harsh, but fair. <coughs> Excuse me. So, are we going on to another sprint? So I can try and figure out this shit show of the TBR. And I think I'm going to have to redo my random number generator. <laughs> Didn't say I'm a realist. <laughs> uh, we're not materialistic. We're just specific. True. Uh, I found your channel from Amy's last night. And I'm so glad I did. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Well, join! Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've actually filmed a video and edited it. Um, uh, yeah, Magnus got the uh, black screen of death. My MacBook, who I call Magnus because he's sparkly, um, got the black screen of death the other day. So I'm, I'm letting him have a rest and I'm, ho I'm hoping... Uh, when I go upstairs and turn it, turn on my MacBook, it magically starts working again. Otherwise, it's a trip to the freaking Apple shop for me. Yes, I call my laptop Magnus, cause I got my lap, I got my Mac, my MacBook when I was reading um, the Shadowhunter Chronicles, and it was all shiny and new and silver and sparkly and. Obviously, Magnus Chase is shiny and sparkly, so it made sense. So <laughs> I call my MacBook uh, Magnus. Yep. Uh, welcome to our family, Colette. Yes. Um, welcome to the dark side, Colette. We have spicy cookies. <laughs> we do. Um, I know you, you call your hubby Magnus. It's fine. <laughs> He's also grumpy and blonde. <laughs> Hello, Renee. Missed you. How are you, my love? Uh, I got you a 45 letter manga. Does that count? Well, what manga is it? Tell me the title of the manga and I'll see if I can get it. If not, I will have to re-roll my random number generator. Oh. Me with all the beverages. <sighs> the immortal girl in her contract with her hundred demons. Is that forty two letters long? <laughs> Let me just copy and paste that bad boy title so I don't have to. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> uh, 
100 to 100 and it's 45 letters. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> what image, Bunny? What image? You mean the image that you need? to turn the safe filter off to see. I confused. Kind of just out here confusing me all day long. Uh, okay. It looks like I could read that online, so. Looks like it. Listen, girl, I can be pure and innocent, too. You know? Bunny said we had an image to protect. Uh, but to be fair, Asma is uh, doing Ramadan, so she's trying to, you know, be less spicy lately. So, be fair. <laughs> Press X for doubt. <laughs> See, I think Asma, Asma, you can't be innocent. You just forget. <laughs> That's true. So I'll take it back. I will be fair. Good, good. Okay. So we have my 45, 42 letter title uh, even though it's 45 it should be 42 but wow <laughs> thank you Paula I failed the no no <laughs> Ramadan challenge but I tried and that's all that matters. Girl! <laughs> Y'all have no faith in me. We do have faith in you. We just know you. It's like if someone asked me, if, if I set myself a challenge not to swear for like a week, I'd fail within like the first half an hour if I was awake. To be fair. Swearing is just part of my vocabulary. It's too ingrained in me. I can't do it. I had faith, asthma. You were the one who broke it. Oh, no. Right, before we start, like, you know, <laughs> before we start in on each other, <laughs> shall we go to another sprint? Shall we? Is it safe? Oh, this tea. Uh, it will be like someone set me a challenge not to be the creepiest mofo in the room. Y'all know I would fail that. True. Very true, Kenny. <laughs> to be honest, I just came to say hi. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Lol, not with the self burn. Well, at least you're not rich, Asma. <laughs> Oh, shade. Maybe I'm gonna start chainsaw man in this sprint. That's true. Dion's, uh, Dion, see, Renee, <sighs> calling you by your old name. <laughs> My bad. Um, so Renee's book club, 
Manga Club uh, Chainsaw Man is this month's pick. Uh, I haven't got it yet. I think I'm going to try and read it online. Broken perverted. Y'all just dig in my grave further. Hey. You're in good company. Because I too am broke and perverted. <clears throat> um, I have... I can't read that. Shonen Jump. So I will do that. I wouldn't have... You, I wouldn't have you any other way, Bunny. True, true. Please, I'm behind on reading. I'm catching up on One Piece tomorrow. See, I haven't even started One Piece. I just don't, I don't think I'm gonna. It, there's just too much. Might start Chainsaw Man tomorrow. <laughs> That's my merch line right there. What? Broken, perverted. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so. Or Wednesday. Start whatever you want. <laughs> uh, it's like my book club. <laughs> Should have picked a book for April. Haven't picked a book for April yet. Haven't read Marches yet. But the chat for that will be on Saturday. So that'll be fun. <laughs> It's really, it's what I should be reading in the sprints, but, you know, starting out at TBR. <laughs> yup. Uh, for being broke, I'm rich in books. Truth. Ooh, we can do that all together. What are the options, Paula? No, no, we're not, we're not choosing a book. We're not choosing a book. We're, we're trying to figure out my TBR for April. So, hmm. Is this Disability Awareness Month? <sighs> Every day is Disability Awareness Month for me, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's an Autism Awareness Readathon this month by Chelsea Zara. I can't be, take part in another uh, a readathon, but I will try and make, uh, try and add books. Well, to be fair, there's eight prompts here. There's a butt ton of prompts for Old School April. So I will look for tag the video on discord yes please do thank you very much and if y'all want to check it out my link well the link to my discord is in the information box down below so you know pop on over uh we have random chats <laughs> uh uh I'm not highly active in there, even though it's my Discord, because I, I just fail at social media in general. <laughs> uh, the only rule is to have an artistic main character in the book or written by an artistic author. Great. Perfection. Uh, so, yeah. I'll look into that and definitely add some if they're not on for this tbr i'll add them on to the old school april tbr thank you very much. thank thank you thank you thank you sorry i just got the notification that asthma aka bunny bun bun <laughs> has put the link in the discord right so are we gonna go to a sprint and then when we come back from that sprint, we can play some trivia. Does that sound good to everybody? <laughs> so another 45 work for everybody. 
in the chats. <clears throat> Perfecto. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so to sprints. To 45. Right then, I will see y'all on the other side of 45 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to try and push myself to at least get halfway through with the script. You can do it, Kenny. We believe in you. 770 words. More power to you. Good luck. And with that, let's sprint.
and we're back. Hello. We lost Car Colette. I was going to say Courtney for a second, but no. <laughs> uh, so I'm off. Thank you for the sprints of being very welcoming. Obviously, you're not here anymore, Colette, but you know. It's all good. Um, yeah. Um, Asma is still trying to find me a book with a title that's 42 letters long. She's gone over but with 49 letters and she's come under at 40. So she's the real MVP of the sprints tonight because <laughs> she's trying to find a 42 letter title. Bless her. Um, I am still failing at... Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, sorting out my TBR. Um, just writing in book clubs, uh, book club books that I actually need, well should read as well that aren't mine. Um, uh, so Chainsaw Man, just need to write that in. Uh, and that's Manga Book Club. <coughs> Excuse me, that was a an interesting belch. Um, and then there's Paco's Book Club, which is this Poison Ivy this month. Uh. We've got the pins in Discord. Uh, March, April, it's Poison Ivy. Yes. Um, it's the... Can't really see on the picture. It looks like it's the... Then... Dead Earth Circle? Something? Um, but, yeah. I'll look that up in the next sprint uh, and that is for Enchanted Book Club and then we've got Fireborn for Royally Ducked and Over Emotional for Amy's Book Club so we've got to fit in those four books plus mine so that's five extra books on top of the eight already uh finished the night at 873 words see <laughs> round of applause for kenny knew you could do it had all the faith in the world with you um so What are we wanting to do right now, guys? I think everyone's uh, fallen asleep and having a nap. Hello? <laughs> Is this thing on? Um... Yeah. Still looking, but we can do trivia. Who's down to play trivia? Da -da 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 Just to let y'all know, my brain is absolutely fried. And my, my lips are so dry. But I don't know what it is, right? But ever since I was little, um, a rubbing dry skin on my lips has been a comfort thing. I think I, it's so weird. But it's like, you know, when people like suck their thumb. It's like I didn't suck my thumb, I sucked these two fingers, which is really weird. 
and I used to kind of like suck these two fingers and like hold this and like, like rub my lip so yeah rubbing dry skin on my lip is kind of a comfort thing for me this is just weird <sighs> right so uh do y'all remember the name of the detective readathon uh i thought it uh was it dictober or dictember but i'm wrong i think hmm it's not ringing any bells Will you be joining us for some trivia, Courtney? Will you be playing this time? This time? Come, play with us. Kenny, do you still have your eyeballs in? Or have you taken them out? Hmm? Um, There's the Get a Clue readathon. Uh. Oh. No, I don't want to go to Pinterest. Pinterest is a scary place. Still got them in for another hour. No trivia for me, still organising. Oh no! Well, we're gonna switch to play some games and we're gonna play some trivia. So, uh, where am I going? <laughs> so, if you've never played trivia before with us on this channel, um, you need to go to jackbox.tv in another or on the phone or in another tab on the computer Shush. jackbox.tv and Put in, the, put in the name for yourself, put in a room code, put in the room code that's generated uh, and I will say no swears or slurs as your name please but feel free to use in your endos. Ooh. Oh no. Can't put that in. Ow. Learn how to spell. Nope. Jeebus Christ. Sorry, my brain has just told me that I don't know how to spell. There we go. Dyslexia is fun. There we go. <laughs> wow. I know it's not starting yet because I needed to think of it. I needed to put a name in. Uh. I wanted to put in backache Betty, but nope, it wouldn't let me let me have the extra for extra letter for the Y. Panda bear. 
Come on, Kenny. Join in. Join us. Chris, if you're watching and you want to join, feel free. Even though you will just kick out. Like you do every time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Clap cheeks. Is that you, Kenny? <laughs> or is that Princess? <laughs> princess likes to say she's got you. <sighs> oh. Owie. Owie, owie. It's <laughs> me. Okay, I'll give anyone else who wants to join a couple of minutes. So yeah, go to jackbox.tv and put in the room code. The instructions are on the screen right now. Oh. Does Magnus want to play or is he out walking around doing things? My bed have a very, very good relationship. <laughs> You're a bit late reaching out to him, he just came in to say no. Dang it! Well, tell him I asked him to play trivia and um, you know, night. <laughs> I'm still trying to find that detective reader phone. Mm. The murder mystery is Chris playing. I, th I think it's just us. I mean, I can ask him, but you know we're all gonna lose. Messaged him. Now this time I'll win. Have some faith in me, mommy. See, I do have faith in you. I have faith in myself. But the amount of random knowledge that is stuck in his bumps, and the random knowledge that's stuck in mine—I mean, you've got to—you got to remember, he is like ten years older than me, and I'm fucking old, so. Yeah. Closing the document at a thousand and forty eight words. Killing it, Kenny. Killing it. Kicking ass and taking names. Yay! I think he's watching a mo what hang on. He's either watching a movie. Swiss Fox? Who's the Swiss Fox? Let me know. <laughs> I think he's uh, he's busy playing on the PlayStation. So the Swiss Fox is not Christopher. Yeah. Yeah, Chris is playing Uncharted on the PlayStation. So Hi Jess! So Jess is Swiss Fox. <laughs> um. I like your picture. <laughs> like you channel picture, profile picture, it's cool. Um, am I right in saying that you are Sarah's little one? Sarah and Gary's little one. 
not so little, but yeah. Yeah, thought so. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, try try to be um, less yourselves in the chat, please. We have a child here. <laughs> not so, not so much a child, but yeah. Okay. Are we all in? Are we ready to play some trivia? Kill, kill. I don't know why I'm looking over here at a press. I've got right. Everybody's in. But just remember the scream that will happen after the little intro bit. The local residents familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The car crashing into another car and then another car went ahead and crashed. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close. The trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, Sassafras. Hi, Audrey. You back? Your mum just left. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Do you want me to restart? Oh. Uh... Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Sorry, we're out of rooms, but we have plenty yeah, of deadly trivia. Thing. Really Only one of you will survive. <laughs> Quick tip, it's easier to win if you cut all emotional attachments now. Okay, first question. Shall we restart for Audrey? Or do you just want to watch and then we'll reboot it and we'll do two game we'll do two trivias back to back? So I don't have the time. I'm about to eat supper and I have a million things to do. See? There you go. Okay. We'll just watch. Hang out. It's cool. Uh, no. Right. Which of these is not one of Shaquille O'Neal's rap albums? Use your device to answer the question. Uh. And the oh, correct answer so. is who got the question right? <laughs> no one! <laughs> Everyone is wrong. <laughs> Come with me. Welcome to room 101. Okay, this Ooh, one is more perfect. of an experience. Please accept these gifts before the cops bag them as evidence. Pick a box and keep what's inside. See, I can be giving. Come on, Kenny. Pick a present. Pick something. Quick. <laughs> oh, you ah, got the goggles. My grandpappy Jack's glasses. They say they let him see things no mortal minds can comprehend. He succumbed to supernatural madness. So, watch out for that, I guess. Moving on. Have fun. Just in case you like scores, here's where I keep them. That's fine, Audrey. It makes sense. This weekend has just been an absolute try another mental one. time for me. So. I am proof that evil exists. How does my microwave reheat my broccoli? Who picked this? Yay! Which leaves only you. Time for consequences. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I was thinking about gamma Welcome radiation. Welcome to room 217. Time to try to save yourself with the password. Like little mini Hulk Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Oh. You always get this one, Asma. 
Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. If anyone figures out the password before time runs out, I will reward you Second all. Second letter is an O. Mm. This is a team effort, so share clues out oh. loud with each other. What do we got? What do we got? No, it's not double O. See, Jess and... Uh... Oh! What is it? <laughs> what letters Time's do you guys up. have? I thought everyone was good at hacking passwords these days, but I guess I was wrong. Well, you live another day, Asma. Let's keep moving. Taking captives and playing sinister games. Wow, I've become my father. Which Tennessee Williams play features a patriarch character named Big Daddy? Who picked this? No one! <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Crap. Follow me. Pigs! I need to reconnect. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep. Alright. Ooh, I just love watching this one. No, just hey, good with work me. with We're the death good. zones. <laughs> not me. It was a theater degree, not a part of the <laughs> You can still put the answers in the chat yet. if you want. The end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. We're here. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What's a shilling? Who picked this? Yes, everybody. Lucky guesses. <laughs> Let's try another one. Mm. Oh, I am so behind on sleep. Some of my captives keep getting upset in the middle of the night. It's exhausting. If I try to get my captives to sleep using the Ferber method, what would I need to do? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. I honestly thought it was the first method. <laughs> Let's see if the safe players are good at forgery. The ghost of my Aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror to camouflage Aunt Mildred's. Go ahead and start writing. Watch closely. One of these new words will be a word written by Aunt Mildred's ghost. So many convincing words to choose from. 
Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die. <laughs> you typed the word already? Or did you just hit? <laughs> Enter the right word now, or you die. Come on, Alma. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. No, Kenny, no! Did I forget to mention that when my grandpappy died wearing his creepy glasses, every living person nearby came down with the same supernatural madness? Did, did I forget to mention that? Tough break. Ooh. Only one of you is Why still alive. Why are all weird? You know what that means. What's happening? Yes, we're all dead. Glad to see the you're eyeballs. the one to make it here alive. But will you be the one to escape? What the hell? That's I'm new. going to give you a category. <laughs> Programming languages. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Aw, that's cute. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's the everyone's that you next question. Weird things. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. I've never played the game of life. Time is almost up. <laughs> Root vegetables and tubers. A lot of lucky guesses. Next question. Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals. Why didn't I think that bullet box was on? That ghost can smell your life force. Don't look behind you. It's only darkness. Countries bordering the Indian Ocean. Time is almost up. Damn it. Onions. Too easy on you. As the two weeks in the a tables row. have turned. Operas. Well done, Jeff. Four stolen life force. Beyonce albums. Not a play. Time is almost up. Slow you down. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Thank you, Batman. Another life swap. 
Time to make friends with the darkness. Winners of RuPaul's Drag Race. Time is almost up. What? You have to get all the right answers to escape. Yeah. God damn it. I guess you weren't counting all stars. Well, fine. Same. Same. I want to know what was going on with your googly eyes. Because you got. There we go. There's not much time. I'm Dr. Caralda. A licensed physician of the mystical arts. <laughs> you seem to have been infected None by a supernatural madness. Could have sworn this spirit have world is getting all, all up inside of your brain. But Quickly, eh. you must answer this question correctly or succumb entirely to the dark whispers of the other realm. What is the square root of one? Come on, Kenny. Kind of a softball, honestly, but important none. <laughs> it all comes down to this. You did it! You're free of the evil! I'll send you my bill. I'm <laughs> not in network for any known insurance plans. So did you put the googly eyes on um asthma? Or did they cause they just appeared? Because when Chris when Chris had the glasses, it was it just sent him like weird stuff, like when he was like answering the questions and stuff. I knew it was mistletoe, but the second I guessed myself, yeah. See, I only know that because of the the movie Batman. Good game, everyone. Well done, Kenny. Uh. Good game, good game. No idea, my internet lagged midway. <laughs> Mine, my, I, I came out of my like thing. I had to reconnect as well, <laughs> so I was like, uh. No, it was the game that did that. I just it it just an effect. It did send me a weird thing though. <sighs> well, good. Right, so. That's trivia. Close that down. So, on to sprinting! How long should we sprint for, my lovely people? So I still need to figure out this TBR. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna go take your eyes out. Cool, 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 cool. 45 minute sprint, my battery's dying. So that's you done for today, I think. Okay. Well, you can still listen to the dulcet tones of my voice. Uh, lol, Kelly, I need to do that too. 45 minutes is the consensus, let's go. Do, 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 do. Perfect sleeping ASMR. <laughs> I am for you, Asma. You fall asleep to my voice every Monday night. <laughs> you just can't control yourself. It's that Yorkshire twang in it, love. It really does it for you. <laughs> it's just kinky. <laughs> Exactly, see? <laughs> she loves it. Okay, so 45 minutes on the clock. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Stop flirting, woman. Who? We can't. <laughs> right, talk in 45 minutes. Bye.
Hello, we're back. So, we lost Kenny. But we get a poll. Also, Jess is sprinting on her channel if you want to bub over and say hello. Um, the link is right there. Uh, asthma finished, not me finishing my prayers in 40 minutes, new record. Whoop whoop. And asthma saying hello to everyone who's just arrived. So, I think, well, I still need to find the title that's got 42 letters in it. But I think I've got every other book done. Uh, not me pr me trying to plan my wrap up zero red books in March. Bless you. It'd be like that sometime. Yeah, how long do your prayers normally take you? I know you're still looking. I'm still looking too. You're doing good. Found one that's 42 letters. So close. See, I found one that's exactly 42, but it's, um, uh, it's not really the, a subject matter that I want to read. <laughs> it's, uh, 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 Eremio, my little sister can't possibly be this cute. So I'm like, mm, yeah, nah. I don't particularly want to read it. <laughs> yeah, it's for the um, Aurelium Magical Readathon. A random. I, I didn't. I did a random number generator between one and one hundred. I should have squeeze down a bit but hey not the sibling romance <laughs> I know right so yeah that's why I'm like yeah even it's technically 42 letters but I, it's not really something I want to read so yeah uh, usually takes 45 to 50 minutes but these are Ramadan prayers outside of Ramadan the night time prayer like 12 minutes oh Chris made me a sandwich on that sprint and I do you know when you eat something and it just kind of like sits <laughs> it's, just, it's just like sat at the top of my stomach just hanging out <sighs> I swear the dramas of my internal organs <laughs> Oh, good times, good times. Uh, so yeah. So, I, I, so I still need to find one book, and I'm only doing two rereads this year. So, hey. <laughs> Yeah, I almost forgot it was round but down. Makes sense. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going through for all of these 40 minutes were uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, oh. I swear, this is just going to turn into a, uh, just seven more days until Eid. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just heard creams. <laughs> Uh, Chris goes, Wah. Hi Lauren, how are you? So, I think it's time. I can't even burp off that air. It's just stuck in my stomach with no leave. Uh, just, just sit and rub your tum tum. This is what I do all the time. I just sit there like, oh my god. Ew. Oh, 
Ow. Doing pretty well, about to figure out dinner. Ooh. Do you have a list of ingredients? You know, or are you thinking about something? Oh. Hmm. Try to think. It's like I'm still kind of hungry, but because that sandwich literally just went down like a lead balloon, I'm like, Ugh. I just don't know. <laughs> Taking meds and hoping Danny uh, drowning my stomach and water makes it go away. Yeah. Overfilling your stomach with fluid is not always the best. I'm feeling vegetable-y today. I just grabbed a bunch from the store. Gotta make a barrage of veggies and maybe chicken nuggets. <laughs> Well, you gotta have you gotta have a side of healthy with the chicken nuggets. Uh. Oh, dear Lord, the gas. It'd be rife. Hmm. So it is half eleven for me currently. kind of I'm kind of done with my TBR TBR right now uh, still just like I said I have to pick that or find a title that's 42 letters long and if I can't do it I am gonna have to re-roll my random number generator I feel like the, the titles out there I just have to find it Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> I finished my TBR yesterday, well done, <laughs> yesterday was crazy for me, um, uh, gotta film everything though, see, I've just, it feels like I've just stopped filming videos altogether, it's like I have videos that I need to film. I just, I just don't have the energy to film and when I have the energy I don't have the time so yeah and plus like it's Easter so Wyatt's at home so I can't film during the day because Wyatt's just like what's mum doing what's mum doing and doing it on a night time I'm just like I'm done it's like you know you know when you go like check please it's not check please it's bed please so yeah uh, my TBI is so ridiculous why did I choose a calling with so many prompts I have to read 331 pages in a day you're right I mean it's doable and it's probably even easier if you listen to an audiobook. Because then you can bump up the speed. And my TBR is non existent. I just listen or read whatever I'm in the mood for. See, that's usually how I go, but it feels like I've been in, like, you know, readathon, 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 readathon. So I still need to put in several books for Realmathon that was last week, last week, last month. Um, yeah. And me with like two days left, I was like, oh yeah, I can like totally read the um, Atlas trilogy, Atlas 6 trilogy. Yeah, it's fine. And then it took me like forever to read the first one again. Excuse me, moi. Uh, so 
So if you Google books with 42 letters in the title, there's a whole list on Goodreads. I did, but um, it just came up with like letter, um, uh, books with numbers in the title. Uh, and not when you work full time and you have a business and a kid to take care of and haven't finished a book uh, in March uh, I, would have to just, I would have to just read it every day which would be fun but it doesn't pay the bills yeah I mean I, I don't <laughs> I don't have a job <laughs> But then again, I am a par uh, I am a parent of an autistic child, so that's technically twenty four seven. Um. So yeah. Mm. And I'll have another Google, Jess. See if I can find anything. Uh. Oh, I'm not judging, but here it's hubby who is disabled, so I have to go to work. Also, I love teaching. Oh, I know that. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's like, I'm the disabled one, as well as, uh, uh, as well as Wyatt. House of the Cerulean Sea is, apparently, is number one. Well, that's not 42 letters long. <laughs> See? Uh, uh. The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. Is that 42 letters? Yeah. 24, not 42. Yeah. 42 letters. Uh, not 24. <laughs> oh, my tum tum tum. So, like I said, I'm just, I'm, I'm just done with 42. 42 is a big number. Uh, that's why Asma is looking into mangas. And I'm also looking at mangas as well. Got nine for that prompt. Rubbing it in. Rude. <laughs> I wonder if I read 224, if I read 220, no, no, I can't do that. If I read a 20 and then a, a 22, I wonder if that'll work. Numbers dyslexia kicking in. See, I'm lucky I don't have number dyslexia, but I have the regular kind. <laughs> that's a good idea I'll keep an eye out that's what we were talking about earlier with the uh, I found uh, found one that's exactly 42 letters long but the subject material is uh, not what I want to read <laughs> something with a subtitle hmm found one that's 41 no <laughs> <sighs> what? What is the one that's 41? Because if I can't find one that's 42, that's the closest. So what is the one that's 41 letters long? <coughs> Excuse me, so bad. See, as we're just typing in War and Peace now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, it is. Okay, okay, okay. And copy. <laughs> And paste. <laughs> so, 
did that too. I linked it in Discord. See, asthma is on fire. Uh, right, yeah. Ow. Um. Oof. Sorry. Sorry about all the gas. Like I said, I don't understand why, you know, it's called IBS when it's all gut related. For me, anyway. But, eh. <laughs> uh, uh. Excuse me. Anyway, shall we pay, play some hidden object games? Did we actually finish the Demon Hunter one? Did we finish it or did we not? I can't remember. <laughs> Got a random bit of fluff. No, we didn't. Okay. Cool. Alright, let me set a timer with this. Uh, uh, well, I was asleep, so don't look at me. But yeah, we had an object. <laughs> so I was going to be falling asleep around about now ish. Uh, but I'll set a 45 minute timer so we don't go too long. I currently have a key and that is it I'm not able to break these bars but I could try and bend them somehow Free. okay Polo and crew I gotta go thanks for sprints bye Courtney have fun I hope your day gets better Bedroom. Let's go. Dream catcher. Anything creepy hiding under the bed? No, no. Okay. I don't know, see that spit dry in there. Found one of 91 letters. <laughs> no idea if that's any good. You found one. Found one that's 42 letters long. Put it in the chat, woman. Do it. <laughs> mm. 
A stranger beautiful sorrows of Ava Lavender. Sweetie. Uh, it was on my March TBR. I just, I unhauled that one. I've, re I've read it already and I unhauled it. God damn it! I suppose I could like get it on audio and uh, listen to it. <laughs> I mean, I was so happy to have found one. Oh, bless you. Well, me too, to be fair. they not go on there? Where's the... Okay. There's a thing here. <laughs> no, well, it's time to reread it. I guess. to go get my medication because ouchies. Either way, can you get my medication for my bus compartment? So, because that sandwich just sat like a lead balloon. Oh. 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 Owie. Uh, did you unhaul it because you didn't like it? No! Um, it was just okay. Uh, I kept it so on because it was a beautiful cover. Um, and yeah, I was like, well, it's finally time to let go of it. <sighs> but like I said, I could probably try and find it on audio somewhere. Can anyone see a worm? There it is. <laughs> Rereading a book you didn't like for a readathon prompt is a bit sad. Hi Nicole! How are you? Uh, yeah, the cover is gorgeous. Uh, but it was very hyped back in the day. Yeah, uh, that's why I got it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> um, and like I said, it's it's a it's an okay book. It just not. It just didn't live up to all the hype that everyone. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Get a sponsorship deal with Buscapan. Hey, let me put these in bin. I'll take the others back upstairs. When you go upstairs, obviously. Let's go. Bin. Ooh, and then. Okay. Uh, oh well, won't be going in with too many expectations. Okay, that's fair. Okay, what have I got to make here? Uh, swap the positions of the neighboring triangles. 
by rotating to restore the original painting in the lock of the door. Okay. Popping in to chill for a few before going back to reading. Cool. Sounds like a plan, my dear. Yeah, no, that's not right either. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, those two are together, but not there. <laughs> uh, okay. Um Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> But it can't go. Looks like it lines up fine there. Right. 
I feel like that fits there, but I could be completely wrong. Yeah, no, that's definitely a forward facing thing, no, that's a higher facing thing even. So confused. Okay. Well, then that doesn't go there. getting somewhere where it is I don't know uh, I need to see if my April bullet journal um, well uh, old school April is happening so I'm gonna do what I did on February thing kind of did a old school type of theme school april old school april is uh, a readathon that's happening as well as a Rillium this month um there's a butt ton of prompts but you know you could just with the amount of prompts that are for the readathon um it's like a readathon a watch along all the things um you could basically mood read and still take part in old school april um, let me, excuse me, 
open up the Discord. And I'll put a link in. Uh, would you like a, a Discord link to the join the Discord, or would you like to? Uh, it's Kelsey from Slime and Slashes. Just about to say, would you like a link to the video, the announcement video from Kelsey? And then you don't have to join the Discord if you don't want to. Um. Um. They're currently doing sprints right now as well. <laughs> Typical. Everybody's doing sprints. Uh, just link to the video and I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, do do do. Video. Okay, that's the announcement video. So. Copy and paste. So there's the announcement video for that. So like I did in February, uh, January, kind of did a, a 90s, 80s theme. switch that so you can see it which uh, you know it would have been good if I uh, would have thought about it and actually done this in April but it happened thank you I was particularly proud of my Care Bear doesn't go there either. Oh my god, why is this so hard? That's what she said. This is so annoying. Those two fit together. However, the one at the top doesn't fit. But it does. <sighs> okay, it fits there. These need to come down. Yep. And they need to go. No, they need to go. That's definitely at the top. Does that one not fit anywhere? Oh my gosh. Just 
seriously, where do, where do, where does this one, the bottom, this bottom one here fit? This one here. Oh, hang on. Seriously. If you feel like kicking me. Oh, oh no. Feel free, because I feel stupid. Professor Ashmore confirmed there's no par paranormal activity in the museum. Owners doomed. Okay. It's a very interesting dinner table. Can't pick up any of the pieces. Fun! Uh, okay. Uh, there's no the mental health. Respect Mr. Strange, considering the state of your health, please contact our institution as soon as possible. During your last exam, we detected changes in the brain that can be fatal. Oh dear. Uh, you have been granted experimental treatment for which you will be bearing uh, the risk as well as the cost. Do not risk your health respond to this call. Okay. Good times, good times. Uh, mosaic, mosaic parts and a holy water flask. I'm guessing. I'll find the tile pieces first. And then I'll open up the flask. Mosaic pieces see are sealed in in an uh, unopened can. Logic. Uh, two more pieces. One more piece. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no. <laughs> Guess not. So candles, holy water, shawl, ballerina. It was stressing me out too. Okay. figuring to visit every square on the board. Okay.
Magic dust. Oh, hang on. A dental gag. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Open this deer's chops. So weird. And that's the thing to the balloon catcher. Let's go back into the bedroom. I'm guessing we've got a chair. Okay. I'll match up with the shadows. Woohoo! Oh, find the find three assigned symbols on each page. My little boy, I think about you every day. We feel you with us all the time. Your illness was of the worst kind. That feeling of helplessness. The way we lost you. <laughs> you could not be cured. And we couldn't accept it. I mean, fair. Instead, in despair, we found a powerful psychic from a long line of healers. We cried for help and asked her to summon ancestors to help us find the cure for your cruel illness. She barely agreed, said it was too dangerous. In the middle of the seance, something went terribly wrong. All became whirlwind and fog. Instead of ancestors, something else answered. We lost you, and as if that grief weren't enough, we had to call for help once more because of a presence that moved into the house that night. We called Professor Ashmore with his science. We couldn't be more wrong for doing so. magic potion stuffs so why can't I pick it up no magic ritual without candles seriously okay fine and there you go with the holy water And magic dust. So, yeah. Mm. 
And that's gonna open the door in the other room. Because I'm imagining I'm gonna go by the truth in the correct room. That's twice. That old man oh, is not no, just crazy. Been, he really he's knocked, is possessed. He hasn't been knocked out. It's a wonder I'm still alive. He's been knocked out of the house. Oh, he got a boo boo. See, when you're a female lead in you, you just get knocked out constantly. Disinfected it first, but okay. There you go. All fixed. All better. Interesting mosaic, but it's missing tiles. I'm shocked by these turn of events. So you just want to open. Fine. Stop having it. Ooh, ooh. Get out of there. I would have taken the duck head instead of the medical tape, but mm good. -hmm. This is the police. Open up. We got a call from this house. What's going on here? I gotta hurry and open up the gate. That didn't sound suspicious at all. This is the police! Open up! Okay. So we've got like five minutes left on here. Uh... 
This is the police. Open up. I'd love to open up, but can't you see? I'm fucking busy, mate. Literally, that's all I got, a knitting needle? Come on. Random creepy nose. Cool, cool, cool. Shoot, shoot. Okay. Firecrackers are hitting me for real boom. Nothing to lighten with, so no. No matches. This is the police. Open up. Police are just gonna sit there and watch me break into the car. Cool. There's Game Heart right there. This is the police. Oh Open up. God, I get it. From there, I need to go here. So there's something here for me to do. <laughs> Not stressful at all, that police. I know, right? Dude, instead of standing there shouting the same thing over and over again, you know. Oh, okay, I get it. So yeah, instead of shout shouting over and over again. You know, find a way to open the gate. Yes, help. Rude. <laughs> Calm down, get yourself a cup of coffee or tea or whatever. <laughs> right? Okay, so I can make the things go boom. Okay. Let me just scare the birdie birds. <laughs> Because this is logical. Okay, so gate piece. Go for that gate piece. Um, this is the police! Okay. Open up! Really? I never would have guessed it. Okay, use the buttons on the left and on the right to rotate the wheel to complete the image.
This is the police. Right oh, young man. Tell me who called the sheriff office and why. <laughs> what? A ghost. <sighs> you have to stop Edmund. A demon took him over, a very dangerous demon. We thought Professor Ashmore had banished him. You have to wake up the sheriff, too. You'll need him to help you with shutting down the power. It's the only way to stop him. You'll find more in Professor Ashmore's notes. Here, take this. Cool. Wait! I guess I'll have to find Professor Ashmore's notes and turn off the power. Okay, so the random ghost apparition popping up didn't freak me out. How is my timer going off even though I knew there was like only five minutes left? Yup. Hang on. Okay, let's go to the main menu. Mm -hmm. So, it is half past one right now. Not half past one, I'm lying. Half past midnight. So if we do another <laughs> that's literally what she said. Why is she repeating it? Like he'll figure it out. Yeah. So if we do another thirty minute sprint, that takes us to one AM and I'll wrap it up. Does that sound good for everybody? Cause it sounds good to me. Um Do 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 Yup 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 Cool 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 Why did you do that? Escape Uh Guess who's still awake? I know I'm very proud of you Asma Good, it's bedtime story time anyway here. Cool, cool, cool. Ready, ho. Right, so. Sprints. 30 minute sprints. And I'll see y'all on the other side of 30 minutes if y'all are still awake. Okay, bye.
Okay, and that is the 30 minute timer being up. <sighs> I'm finally setting up my reading journal for April. Now I have some part of my TBR planned. Uh, is anybody still awake? Asthma, I'm looking at you. <laughs> um, I read a chapter of Naruto's bedtime story with the kiddo. Cute. I've never read Naruto. Now sending into bed. Night, little man. <laughs> oh, bless. So, yes, it is just, well, it's gone one, one minute past one. I also got my April Brew Jar all sketched out. See, I'm doing mine right now. Well, my, uh, my, um, calendar page. Um, I'm getting it all set up. Uh, so... I might end up finished finish doing this, or at least finish doing lettering the header for April, and then get off to bed. Me neither. I real and realized it doesn't always have appropriate stuff for him, but he's he understands that it's for big kids. Bless him. Too cute. Too too cute. Right. So. Yes. Or I could just go to bed now. But if I stay awake, I could have a snack. The choices. Uh, I'm 15% into The Devil Is In These Hills. Oh, who, who's the author of that? The title sounds familiar. Um, and I'm almost done eating my vegetables. See? I, I love vegetables I love vegetables, I love fruit but it always feels like healthy me go shopping it's awesome so healthy me go shopping uh, like you know and I get like all the fresh vegetables and things that sound really good and oof just and things that look really good and juicy at the time and then when I get home it's non-fiction, it's by James Green. Okay. It still does sound familiar though. <laughs> and then when I get home, the normal me comes out and is like, I, I want crisps, chips, uh, chocolate. Well, to be fair, no, I'm more of a savoury snacker. It's usually only the uh, time of the month where it's like, ooh, I really fancy some chocolate. But yeah. And it's like, I'm, I'm like, okay, why did, what, why am I like this? Because, you know, carrots and hummus seemed so delicious when I was at the store. I'm like, mm, yes, carrots and hummus, lovely, nom, nom, nom. And then when I get home, I'm like, I just want salted potato chips. <laughs> I hate cooking, so usually I make with the stuff. But I was just in the in a mood. Hey, it, whilst the bag of chips is yeah, well, unhealthy stuff. You, you, true, but to be fair, if you if you get like you know pre cooked carrots and hummus, all you have to do is like you know open the bag and dip. But even then, it's like I want like chips and dips, or like I want like tortilla chips and um like salsa or um like uh sour cream and chive sauce no dip should i say not sauce but yeah anyway i'm happy that princess has finished work whoop 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 um whoop so G has finished sprinting, but uh, oh, is Jess still going? Yes, Jess is still going, and 
uh, Kelsey is still going. So I'll put um, Jess's link in here again. And then I'll put Kelsey's link in as well. So if you guys are still wanting to do some sprinting, then you can click on the link and go say hi and chill out with some other fun peeps but right now I am going to sign off and uh, go sleepies you're very welcome um, so yeah see you next Monday same bat time same bat channel um, and maybe someday I'll actually refilm videos again and <laughs> put them online. We'll see. We can but hope. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out.